Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for joining me for another day text. Excuse me, sorry I was not available yesterday, but things have been very busy, so I'm glad to be back today. We meet every weekday morning at 6 a.m. and Saturdays at 6 a.m. unless otherwise scheduled or unless something comes up to consider a portion of the biblical record as well as other ancient and related texts. We're currently working our way through the letter of 1 Peter and we are in chapter 2. I group together texts according to the translation I've done to date, known as the Great Message and other related texts. You can uh, review it um, according to the link below if you register at the site. And I also put the text in the description that we'll be reading. So today we're going to be reading 1 Peter 2, 17 through 20. I think you'll find it very appropriate. It deals with respecting people and how to deal with different people. And <laughs> there's a couple applications we can definitely make uh, today um, that I will. So let's get right to it. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 17 through 20. I'll go ahead and read those texts, make a brief application, and we'll be on our way. Okay. Starting in verse 17, 1 Peter chapter 2. You must respect everyone. You must love the brotherhood. You must reverentially fear God. You must honor the king. Now, before we go on with the reading, let's talk about this a little bit because we know... And if you don't know, you can see from my some of my comments in my YouTube uh, videos that not everyone is respectful to us or to you. And yet we're told here to be respect, respectful to everyone. But yet we also know that we're not supposed to regularly engage people who are disrespectful, right? That's, that's not what Jesus did. That's not what the early Christians do. Occasionally um, they had to deal with people like that, but we don't regularly engage people who openly disrespect us or God, right? But yet on a YouTube channel, you don't really have a lot of choice other than to ban people, mute them, or just regularly deal with their comments. So it's not like other than banning or muting, you can you can avoid them. You kind of have to deal with it. So it's a little bit different circumstance than one where they may have anticipated here that you, know, you can be with people or leave and, you know, didn't really anticipate having a, a regular channel where people could just come and you either have to ban them or not. So it's a choice we have to make at times with things like these channels or other similar venues where you sort of invite uh, a variety of people and you cannot always determine who they're going to be or how they're going to act. So when it gets to a point where respect is lacking, and that, that can happen easily, right? I mean, there's a clear example in my comments um, where I can post a whole video on a subject and someone can comment and the very first comment they make is a complete misunderstanding. In fact, the total opposite <laughs> of what I just stated was my view. They'll claim the opposite was my view or the Watchtower's view if I was discussing it and then criticize me for the view I don't have while ignoring criticizing the person, my opponent, who actually has that view. And so you can find yourself engaging people who just don't make much sense or they have a misunderstanding as the basis for their comments. And then you have to spend time trying to correct them when there never should have been a misunderstanding in the first place, right? That's what the video's for. That's, that's why we did the video. So if you cannot understand or comprehend a video to the point where after hearing it or watching it, you write down the exact opposite or don't attribute the correct view to the person who just spent an hour telling you about it, there's something wrong with you. Okay, You have a problem that goes beyond the ability for respect and just Christian interaction to heal. Um, you, you have issues that go beyond you know, basic exchange of ideas and evidence, right? You, you, you don't understand what's being presented. And then you use that basis for misunderstand, the, base, the misunderstanding is the basis for, for continued comments. I'm not going to tolerate that. I'm either going to address you as the fool that you are, like Proverbs tells us to do, address a fool according to his foolishness, or I'm just going to ban you after giving you a few times to deal with the issues correctly. But respecting everyone does not mean you tolerate idiocy. It does not mean 
you tolerate someone who shows a complete inability to understand what you just spent an hour talking about. That's not what it means to show respect to people, that you have to then tolerate and invite them into your, your, your presence, literally or by extension through this channel. No, that doesn't mean that. You, know, you just end up wasting your time with people who already know the answer to the questions they're asking. They just don't care. So I'm not going to do that. I do that a little, and I'll do it a little more, but I'm just going to start muting or banning people who show a degree of idiocy, or they just they can't understand the main idea presented in an hour-long video, and then they use that to try to burden your time or your comments because they're too stupid to understand what you just spent an hour saying. You know, I mean, I tolerate a little because I enjoy it, you know, finding out what's behind the thoughts of some of these people. But once I realize they're just dumb or they're wasting my time or they won't admit that they made an idiotic mistake in commenting about something before they understood it. So I've got someone who's now trying to undo their very obvious comments by claiming that what they said originally was in, was correct when it clearly isn't and it was the opposite of what I was saying. So you can get into these discussions with people who whether they're dumb, you know, literally, I, I use those terms as, as I've said before, retards. They're 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 retarding the process of evidence and idea exchange. They don't like being called retards, of course, or dumb. That's not my problem. They're demonstrating by their own decision to show everyone just how stupid they are. I, it's not a for me to point out someone who's acting dumb or writing something stupid, that's not unchristian. That's all over the Bible. Now, if I said something, you know, someone's dumb or stupid and they weren't being dumb or stupid, well, that's disrespect, right? I'm being disrespectful to someone who didn't do anything to merit it. And even if someone's just genuinely naive, right? No, nope, not everyone understands everything. That's not a reason to call someone dumb. That would be disrespectful. But, but when you're talking to someone who just heard a video an hour long where all of the information was presented repeatedly and the very first thing they write in the comments is a 100% misunderstanding of what they just heard in order to criticize you about something that you're that the person you are opposing actually believes and not you you're in a realm of dumb or idiocy that is either not resolvable because it's too big of an issue or it's going to be a waste of your time because the person doesn't care they're not that stupid right i mean i say dumb when they do that because i really mean how could you be that stupid, right? I don't really think you are, but you're doing it. I mean, you seem like you have comprehension, and yet you don't. So you get caught in these situations where, you know, on these channels and in comments, you could be dealing with different people, and, hey, I try to be respectful, and I, I hold that as something very important for us, but not, not to morons, not to idiots, right? We don't have to respect dumb. We don't have to respect a person who publicly displays idiocy or who shows they cannot comprehend what you just told them repeatedly. Okay? It's not about you know, being um, mean to someone just because they don't understand or you know, they're, they're trying to learn. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what's happening in the comments. As many of you can see, when I have a normal commenter, I deal with them normally. When I have a retard commenter, I deal with them like a retard because... They're coming to my channel, right? They're coming to my channel posting stupid comments that totally confuse what was just said. And then when I call them retarded or dumb for doing that, they act like I'm being mean to them. <laughs> That's what's so interesting to me is that they can come to my channel, be intentionally dumb and mean to me, therefore, because they're misrepresenting my view, burdening me and making me clarify all this stuff. And then they get mad when you call them out for being dumb. So here's some advice. If you don't want to be called dumb, don't be dumb. If you don't know something, that's fine. We all have that kind of dumb. 
I'm talking about publicly throwing yourself out there with something openly contradicted by the very video you're commenting on. I mean, that's dumb. Okay? If you don't like it, don't do it. If you don't like it and you do do it, well, you're dumb. Sorry. It's not really that big of a deal. We're just pointing out what you're actually doing. Okay? You're the dummy. You're the retard. Not the people who are pointing out that you're retarded. Okay? If you're actually doing something dumb or retarded. I'm not talking about just being mean and throwing out comments about people. Look, look at the comments. Look at the different things. You'll see what I'm saying. There's a, um, there's a certain type of person who clearly deserves respect. And there's another type of person who clearly is disrespecting the very people they want respect from. Makes no sense. So keep these things in mind. When we're talking about verse 17, we're going to read the rest of the text. But I'm talking about this because, you know, I may have to ban a few people or mute them because they're just, the level of, of idiocy in their comments is, is it's just a waste of time. You know, it's, there's nothing valuable there. And they're just basically trying to cover over their own stupid mistakes by commenting about something they didn't understand in the first place. And so you just get caught in this discussion where a dummy is trying to undo their retarded comments. But, you know, that's why you either say you're sorry and you misunderstood and you were stupid and now you're, you're learning and you're smarter now, or you don't make those kinds of mistakes, right? When you decide you're going to do that, you're going to have to wear the badge that comes with your position. And if you're openly showing the world you're a retard, that's not going to be a very uh, pleasant badge to wear. So it's, it's on you. Everyone gets to choose, but uh, I'm not going to spend any more time going back and forth with, with idiots. If they clearly show once or twice, they're not listening and they're not concerned with admitting their mistakes and doing things right. So we know there's different people. I'm just pointing this out a little extendedly because we do want to respect everyone. But that doesn't mean we respect everyone who's a disrespectful person to us. We either leave that person, get away, or if you're on a channel like I am and you kind of have to tolerate it, well, then if you're not going to ban them, you, you kind of have to deal with their idiocy a little bit. And I don't like doing that. I think it's a waste of time. I think the people know what they're doing and they just, they're just they just trying to justify their own failure by getting you to tolerate their idiocy. And I'm not going to do it ongoingly. So, and then again, as I mentioned, <laughs> they get upset because you point out how dumb they are. And that's too bad. If you don't want people pointing that out, don't say stupid things in public. Okay? Don't attack people and claim they have the view that's opposite of the view they just told you over an hour for over an hour. Then people probably won't call you a retard. But if you do that, look, you're <laughs> what kind of comment do you want to be made? when you show yourself unable to understand a video that repeatedly stated the very thing that you're misunderstanding. So, uh, you know, I don't want to go on and on about it anymore, but because I'm going to be a little more short with the comments and probably ban some, fe some people who just don't have the ability to admit that they were stupid and then get upset because you point out how dumb they were, right? Not, not by being mean, but because they attacked you. They commented on your video and tried to misrepresent, in fact, did, what you were saying. So those aren't the kind of people you have to respect. Why would you have to respect someone like that when they're openly disrespecting and misrepresenting your views publicly? All right, let's get to verse 18. Those who work for others should be respectful in all things to their employers, not only to the ones who are upright and considerate, but even to those who are dishonest. Now notice here, let's talk about this text. We're talking about respect, right? So, let, so what is he talking about? Even those who are dishonest. Well, most people are dishonest on some level, especially in the business world, because it's just very difficult to maintain complete honesty and make all this money. But, you know, we don't go around changing our attitude just because people have a chosen course of life in the world that puts them at odds with the system or even job. That's not our responsibility. Now, if someone's breaking the laws in ways that are clearly something we need to report that's we don't show respect by covering over illegalities but 
we also can be working for people who we know are dishonest in certain ways and yet we still should be respectful because that well if they're our employer they're paying us right they're paying us and you know it's not easy to run a business a lot of things happen so depending on the level of dishonesty you know we need to make a choice but we should always be respectful right if, if you're going to quit the company quit the company but you know we don't have to be ongoingly disrespectful there are certain things we don't have to tolerate of course we're not talking about toleration of illegalities we're talking about being respectful and if you notice in verse 17 he's talking about the brotherhood god fearing honoring the king respecting everyone is in that context not the context of idiots like i was talking about earlier or people who just come to burden you right like alexander the metal worker right do you, do you think paul and the early christians respected him and all the persecution he did towards them no they came to the point where they were getting away from him and they weren't going to do anything with him and he was not someone respectful that's not what it's talking about Verse 19, for this is a blessed gift if a person endures something regretfully painful by suffering unjustly on account of his awareness of God. So it may be difficult. We may be in a situation where we're working for an employer. We know they're dishonest. We're trying to be respectful. It's not so easy for us to deal with. So you're enduring in that situation. It's a tough position to be in when you're working for someone who's dishonest. You're trying to be respectful. Same with the comments, right? Uh, you know, I'm trying to host a channel. We get these dishonest commenters who misrepresent our views. What are we going to do? Well, we can either ignore them completely. We can either ban them. Or in the case of an employer, we can either quit the job. Or we can try to deal with their dishonesty or misrepresentation in the case of comments the best way we can. Or just, just get away from them. There's, there's only a few options. And with a channel like this, you know, it takes a little time to determine how you want to handle certain people. But I think once it's clear they don't really care about the truth, they just want to promote their position and misrepresent your view and then cover over their own failures, you're not dealing with a person who's really deserving of respect. You're dealing with a fool. Verse 20, For what honor is there if you endure being harassed? while you are doing what is wrong. However, if you endure suffering while doing what is good, this is a blessed gift from God. So you could take take the example of, a, of some of the commenters, right? Some of the commenters who are misrepresenting my views on this channel in their comments right after watching the video, and then they claim I'm being mean to them or disrespectful by pointing out the stupidity of their comments. Well, you could say in their mind they're being harassed right? I'm harassing them by pointing out their stupidity. But they're doing what is wrong, right? They're, they're misrepresenting my view openly. So who cares if they're being harassed, right? They're doing what's wrong. What honor is there in that? There's no honor in being harassed or called dumb because you were acting stupid. There's no honor in that. If you endure suffering while doing what is good, that's a blessed gift. Now, who do you think's enduring what is good? The person who comments on a video they just watched and misrepresents what was stated repeatedly and then is called dumb for doing it? Or the person who endures the misrepresentative comments and the uh, ongoing attempt to justify the, the misrepresentation while being called mean you know see so in one sense i i'm enduring the suffering from the commenters who are for no reason whatsoever openly misrepresenting my views and in fact the views of the very video they just watched this is how retarded it can get out here in the world this is how dumb some people are and i don't like that you think it makes me feel good to encounter idiots or to point out their stupid comments or to tell them, listen, you wrote this, I said this, you're dumb. <laughs> I don't get joy from that. I mean, it's funny because it's so stupid, but I'm actually hoping that people can understand the videos they're watching. 
make intelligent comments and learn something. And when people come to my channel and do the exact opposite, they're not deserving of respect. They don't even deserve to be on this channel. And they sure don't deserve the time that I give them to restate the very things I stated repeatedly in the video on which they're commenting. So you can see how it can get a little crazy, you know. <laughs> we deal with these people and we think, well, they're a human being, they must be intelligent. No, that's not necessarily the case. Their comments will tell you whether or not they're dishonest or dumb or both. Sometimes it's hard to tell that, but either way, I wanted to get into this text for the reasons stated in the text and also because of just different things. Uh, comments I may respond to, comments I may not respond to. Some people I may ban, some I may mute. I'm just, I'm not gonna let the channel become a place for retards. People who are retarding the evidence process. Flat earthers, people who can't watch a video and understand the position stated, whatever. You get a couple opportunities, okay? But if you fall into those categories, you're, you're outside of the kind of person we really are trying to tolerate here. We're not looking to tolerate retards, people who don't know how to process evidence or who can watch a video and conclude from it the very opposite view of what was repeatedly stated. And then instead of admitting that you totally misunderstood something very obvious, trying to justify your originally dumb position. That's double retard. Everything that would be unworthy of time and attention. So that's why I'm giving it time and attention now so it's very clear how things are understood with respect to respect and how, yes, we should respect everyone. But that's in the context of brothers, God, and the king, not retards. Okay? Not people like Alexander the Metalworker or others who openly oppose us make dumb comments, and then act like they know what they're talking about. Yeah, I think we all pretty much can see the, the truth in that and, and the wisdom in applying things that way. So keep it in mind so that you'll know if I comment or don't comment or ban or mute people, you'll understand the context. I think all of you can pretty much see what's going on anyway. But this text is good to help us understand the need for respecting everyone in the context of brothers, God and the King, verse 17, not opposers or retards who just watched an hour long video telling them everything they should have learned. And yet they didn't learn anything but the very opposite of what you just said. I mean, that's not normal. That's not how normal people process information and then interact. Keep it in mind so you understand the context of some of my responses better if you didn't already. And I'm glad to be back. Sorry about missing yesterday. A lot of other good things here. Let's talk about them briefly. So again, with employers, you know, we cannot always determine who we're going to be working with or what their morals are. And we're just trying to get paid, right? We're trying to do the job, get paid and move on. Now, if you're dealing with an employer who's clearly involved in activities that are damaging others against the law, hurting people, you need to make a decision. That's not what respect is. Respect isn't toleration of error, like in the comments, right? I'm not showing respect to someone by tolerating stupidity. In the same way, you're not showing respect to someone by tolerating illegalities that are clearly causing damage and harm to other people. But that doesn't mean you run around and police everything your employer does or try to you know, hold them account for things that they do that are not honest in every respect, okay? They're your employer. Show them respect. Don't tolerate error or dishonesty, but do your job, okay? Don't police everything. If you have to endure, endure. That's what we're here for. Enduring while being harassed as we do what's right. The other people are here to endure being, quote unquote, harassed for doing what's wrong. And then they... They make you out to be a bad person because you actually don't tolerate what's wrong. We're not, we're not required to tolerate what's wrong. And you can't respect something you can't tolerate, right? So keep this in mind. 
Respecting someone does not mean tolerating their error or idiocy. It doesn't mean that at all. Sometimes we may have to overlook stupid things. That's that's we all make dumb mistakes. I'm not talking talking about that. I'm talking about a, an, a person who intentionally, repeatedly states something they know is not right, or who are too stupid to see it's not right after watching or listening to what they just heard. That's a whole nother category. So try to avoid those people at all costs, or if you have to deal with them like I do in my comments, do it sufficiently to establish the position and move on. Or ban them, as I may have to do today. Either way, we're here to praise Jah, to follow Jesus and treat others the way we want to be treated. And I will say this, if I openly post something that is the complete opposite of what the video or audio I just heard promoted or taught, you can call me dumb. You can call me a retard because that's exactly what I would be. So keep those things in mind. If I do it, I want to know. I, I, I don't want to be posting things that are the exact opposite to videos I just watched. Please call me out on that. And I will definitely call you out on it because I don't want you looking stupid either. We're all here to try to praise God, not to look like retards. So keep that in mind as you make your comments, because once you do that, you put yourself in the position of being discussed. Once you decide you want to make a comment about a video or a thing, please try to understand what you're commenting on, or you may just look dumb. Asking a question is not dumb. Making a mistake is not dumb. But completely misrepresenting a view that someone stated repeatedly and then failing to admit that mistake and correct things is either dishonest to an extreme or retarded. Either one is too much for me. <laughs> I'll try to tolerate a little dishonesty in things like we're taught here even for employers, but I mean, if you just can't figure it out, then you gotta go. You, know, you, you have to go. You have to go find some help for another problem that we're not here to solve. So. Keep these things in mind. We'll be back for the day text tomorrow. Uh, we will be doing a show this weekend, so I'll have more on that later in the week. But we'll keep working our way through 1 Peter. We might be able to wrap it up tomorrow. We'll take a look at the text groupings. I've got a few other videos and things I'm working on. Very busy. Lots of stuff. I'm going to clean up the comments today, though. So either that's going to, either, either the retards are going to figure it out or they're not. One way or the other. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and may Jah bless you in Jesus' name.